hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Hello everyone and welcome back to the crossing playthrough as the phrase finally got a claim on another high lordship so we're going to jump straight into it. If you missed last episode we managed to get our plot for the high lordship of the neck so that is what we are gunning for. We've also got an ally in Flint's finger should we need it but I'm hoping we won't. Also hoping being hand of the queen will be... Uh, although I'm not sure it mechanically will, but who knows, uh, will allow us to continue the war and won't get stopped rather unceremoniously, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we also have a claim on Moat Caitlin, so we can just keep on gaining and gaining should the Queen allow us to do so. So that's what we're going to do. I'm also going to take off you. And you are going to lead my army. And we're going to go straight away. We might as well leave everyone to the north. News from Winterfell of a trial by combat. So hopefully she's fairly busy. He's master of coin. So may well get called in. Uh, excellent. Well done. My Septon has sadly died, so we need to appoint a new one. Chamos, you're up. And she has expressed her disapproval of my wars. Right. You know what? Screw you. Let's see if she'll have me arrested. Let's see what she does about it. Because if she does nothing, then it's kind of tough. Uh, ooh, interesting. So, there is a war against the tyranny of her. So, she's busy right now. To all my subjects, the inheritance of the Iron Throne, Lord Protectora Montris. What? Lord Protectora? What has gone on on the Iron Throne? I've just completely neglected the Iron Throne right now. What is going on? Valyrians are on the Iron Throne. And it's an elective. Well, I'll be damned. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Edric Storm is now the uh, elected king. With 14 votes. Congratulations, wearing the Storm Crown. The war isn't going quite as I would have thought it would. I lose more men per battle. Uh, okay, we can ask him to join the war. Sure. Meisters are most useful. Good. A nice morale boost prior to our fight. That's really good. Send me more. Send me money for troops. Oh, that's fine. Uh, right, so there's a new king on the Iron Throne, Edric Storm. But he's no king of mine. You wish to get married, of course. Happy to oblige. And we'll approve minimum faith. Right, let's get sieging. And in fact, this revolt against... Uh, Queen Jelen couldn't have come at a better time. I don't recognise my friend Sir Martin anymore. Uh, we'll still be friends despite their differences. No, you are my friend. That won't change. No, we want to stay friends. Why not? Someone we can imprison. Gianna Frey. She wants to become my spy master. Oh no, Lothar died. Did any of his kids inherit the genius trait? No. I mean, he was the best we could have hoped for. Lucas will have to do for now. 
Uh, oh god, hold on. You go there, you just perform some statecraft for now. And I'll find you someone nice to marry. Just marry Jane. Jane seems to be coming up fairly often. Oh, despite being at the mercy, my close relative is currently at war with her, which means she can do as she pleases with me. Oh. Damn. <laughs> Please don't imprison me. Ah, she's imprisoned me. <laughs> Great. Oh, that's annoying. She's decreed that I should be executed. What? You're joking me. So now Lord Luther is in charge. That's a bit drastic. Well, we lose all our money. But the war continues. Seemingly. What a bloody disaster. Uh, in fact, the war is won. So we will offer peace. Get that. Say, stuff you, queen. Uh, right. Please report the successful siege of Tams Cranog. Yeah, we'll send her to the prison. Moat Caitlin. Yeah, we can declare war on you straight away. Oh, my sister gets the claim. Well, that's no good. So I don't have a claim on Moat Caitlin. I do have a claim. So why is it for her? We are of the same dynasty, so maybe it's okay. Uh, we'll give it a go either way. I think we'll test it out. Just to see how the mechanic will work. Meanwhile, however, Luthor is now in charge. And good god, that diplomacy is abysmal. So, anyone want to help me with the uh, god-awful... Ugh, that's just terrible. Right, Master at Arms, Ben Free, Treasurer, Martin, Spy Master, Alice, Meister. So he is now my vassal, interestingly enough. And is not too powerful, so that's quite good. Who's got the lowest opinion of me? He does. Right, well, let's start improving relation with them. Meanwhile, build up our troops just in case we have to fight them again. But that is a pretty substantial territory gain for the crossing. And potentially Moat Caitlin up for grabs as well with 870 troops. We have no potential for alliances right now, but Blackwood is a potential alliance and he's quite powerful. But Moat Caitlin. How many troops can we summon? We might as well go for you now. Oh, I can't do it. It needs to be approved by my region. Okay. How old are we? 12. Gonna have to wait a little bit. Meanwhile, I hope she dies. Oh! I thought it was the Moat Caitlin guy then. But it's not. That's alright then. My prisoner... Oh yes, we can get them paid. There you go. That gives us a good bit of money. My region has just expressed a desire to get married. Sure. There you go. Well, that has truly put us on the map for the north quite nicely. Yeah, it's taken us up to number two now. And that's as a kid. So that's really good. And Flint's Finger could be a potential target for us. Oh, we can claim it for my treasurer. Ah, and she's married to him, so their kids would inherit that's something to bear in mind. Okay. 
Not against that. Uh, we need to swap out commanders now, don't we? 13. Still got the bodyguards. Education, you are a good fighter, potentially. Harsley, you can do it. Oh no. She won. But she's defending against the Iron Throne, so hopefully she loses. Defeat. Uh, we'll allow the duel. We don't really care if she ends up, um, or do we? Because it is easier to complete wars whilst we're a smaller kingdom and get gains. Oh my god, are they besieging the crossing? Oh, why are you besieging me? I'm not even in the war. I'll join your side. Oh no, I can't. I need my regent to approve it. For goodness sake, regent. Can't do anything. Here is the regent. Won't even let me see the region. Brian Frey, come on, let me do something. How old are we? 13. Alright, well, we need a bit more. Don't siege the crossing, come on. We've just made big gains. I thought I got you married to someone. Right, well, they're besieging the crossing, so. Not much we can do about that. I suppose it does give us the time to build up our forces after a period of war. And I also need to improve relations with my vassals because they're pretty abysmal right now. As long as we don't get a faction which just goes completely against me. Meanwhile, we could get some private farms going, get a little bit of increased income. Whoa, a big army from the north there, just getting smelted by the Iron Throne. Looks like the north is kind of come back into the realm of the uh, Iron Throne here. Which is a sad time, and I suspect the Veil will be next. Thank you for having me in your household these past years, but I must serve a higher purpose. You're leaving me. God damn it. She's been a thorn in my side. We can ask for bloody vengeance. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, she got killed. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Okay, so new king. New king reigns. King Osric, who is be betrothed to my sister. Interestingly enough. Ah, and you left my court and were then instantly beheaded. So that wasn't a great move, was it? Should have stayed with the phrase in the crossing. You, Master Tomard, are just gonna get it very shortly. Might be worth... Oh, you've inherited it. That's not so good. Hopefully you give it away to someone. Might be worth getting a claim going for Flint's Finger, I think. Aha! We're now 14. Can we get married? Hopefully soon-ish. Right. You need to be educated. I'm not that f fussed by... Oh, wow, you're a good fighter. Lothar Rivers? Sure. Uh, my lord, I would like to politely remind you of the gold that Crossing owes me. Oh. How much do we owe you? Uh, who are you? You're my vassal. 
I need more time to raise funds. He wants Greywater Watch. Uh, no, we'll give you the coin. So I just need to save up money right now. I didn't even know we took a loan. Maybe that's an event. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. Uh, yes, excellent. The marriage is done. Everyone's concerned. Hopefully you give me a big old dowry. 50 gold, not bad. Uh, we can host a wedding feast for 40 gold. Uh, yeah, why not? At least we're not being raided anymore. And the north is hostile to the king of the Iron Islands due to raiding. Uh, we cannot spend much at all. We'll spend enough to make it nice. But I'm not spending any more. <laughs> and none of my vassals are going to attend by the looks of it. Uh, Osmond. Two people have eloped and gotten married. It's fine, I don't care. When I opened the door, I saw no one. But as I stepped aside to a close group of... Ac oh, great. Yeah, just get out. We can't afford the money. When did we all... What? When did we all... Oh. It's that bloody law. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, we're getting no coin. I can't afford the coin, so go away. I'm only 14, for goodness sake. The wedding day is upon us, and it shall be a splendid ceremony. Preferably not a red wedding. Here I stand before the gods to take up a holy vow of marriage with Joyos Blackwood. And now for the feast. We should try and get an alliance with the dad as soon as we can. Meanwhile, you've been granted Moat Caitlin. The feast is done and now for the bedding. He's only 14. What is going on? The morning after the feast, all the lords and ladies finally make their way home. Excellent. And hopefully she likes us a fair amount. Not that much. There is religious differences because we are of the faith of the seven. Can we change that? Don't want to be faith of the seven anymore. Oh, my wife was pregnant. Well, that wedding was a success then. Private farms have been built. We're still 14, so it's about a year until we are done. We've got Dishonourable, which sucks. Probably because I can't afford to pay these people, but there's not much we can do about it. Misslewood, which is part of my kingdom, so that's fine. Why is it? Dornishman... What? Okay, well that's weird. Right. Luther, the realm is in a state of war and as such you command that we provide him men. Happy to do so. Don't know who you're fighting, but sure. Okay, so the veil, yeah, we'll accept. Does that give me an opportunity to declare war on you? No, it doesn't. Uh, right, I've got to spend money on my wife now. And Osric has just declared war on him. Oh, for goodness sake. Yes, she needs health. Does that mean I'm at war with Osric? 
but I still can't offer to join anything whilst we are... Ah, we're now of age. Excellent. We are a knight. And we gain 75 prestige and some piety. Finally, not a bad looking guy. Let's have a son, hopefully, while she's pregnant. We come out as a trained fighter. Pretty abysmal state diplomacy, so that'll be my first uh, ambition. And we are a flamboyant schema. Three intrigue and one diplomacy. Not too upset by that. Decent intrigue is not bad at all. New commander on the wall, Stefan the Sweet Frey. Just want to see what we get for a child. Traveller brings rumours of fire and blood. They say that the dragons live. Sir Elias has a dragon. Ooh. What's your dragon's name? Viserium. He's affectionate, obedient. That's pretty cool. And we've had a daughter. Awesome. Good stuff. Can we get an alliance? Oh god, what was your dad? Your dad. No. It still needs to be approved by my regent. What age do I lose my regency? 16? Probably 16. I'm going to hiding, I don't think we need to. So the Iron Throne is doing pretty well. Lord Nymore of Dawn. Who is a Lord of Dawn and has Misslewood. Is in another faction. Well, he's he's got no power really. He's got 72 troops. Oh, I must have misclicked there. Uh, perhaps then... Bloody hell, the Vale's got some troops. Flint's Finger is my next target. If I can't declare war on you, which at the moment I can't until this Regency is over. So, we will end the episode here and hopefully next episode the Regency will be over. When we will go for our claim of Moat Kaelin. But the crossing looks to be building fairly nicely. It's a shame that uh, Edmund died fairly quickly, but hopefully we can have a long reign with Luthor at the age of 15. Not too terrible stats. I do want to improve the diplomacy. Um, but we already have an heir, which is good. So we will see what happens. In the meantime, though, please do like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying the series. And I'll see you all in the next one.